Okay, so this first meal of the week is a recipe that I got years and years ago from a friend of mine. Um, back then, what we would do, sear the pork chops on the stove, and then in a casserole dish, you would layer green beans and sliced potatoes and cream of mushroom soup and then you would put your pork top ch bleh, pork chops on top of that and bake it until it was done and then you would serve that over like biscuits um the gravy um but i am gonna just sear them on the stove throw them in the crock pot with um a can of cream of potato soup I never ended up adding the potato part of this recipe we just ran out of time but um, after I got it all ready I threw it in the crock pot and let it cook all day and then that night it was ready to go oh I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide Okay, once I had room, I threw some sliced onions in there and um, got a good color going on them. And then, uh, you know, it, it didn't really need to be cooked for a long time because it was going in the crock pot anyway. But um, it, give, it adds flavor. If you skip this step, it'll still come out good. Um, even the searing of the pork chops, you could skip that step. And they would still come out fine, but this adds flavor to it. So the last it. thing I did was threw in a can of cream of potato soup, deglazed the pan with some stock, and threw it all in the pot. And this is what it looked like once it was cooked. And then here is my plate. I want to say I was just very confused in this editing process because I couldn't understand why I had two different meats going on to plates but then I realized that what I was fixing my husband was um, some Salisbury meatballs that for whatever reason did not get recorded when I made those um, it was a recipe that I got from the Doggerty Dozen and um, it was really good it will stick in our rotation but the reason I was serving this up to my husband is because he does not eat pork chops so that's why if you happen to notice that some of the plates got pork chops um, and some got meatballs I don't know if if it's gonna be noticeable in this but um I was so confused but um, anyway yeah that's that's what's happening yeah here's the meatballs that's my husband's um, it's because he doesn't eat the pork chops and so with that, we had macaroni and cheese and um, Bisquick biscuits. And of course, rice and gravy. All that you've got to have your hearts is not a lie. I will put out a lot of Okay, new day, new meal. So here we are starting off in the morning making a 
macaroni salad to go with our supper. Uh, on this day, the nine-year-old Bo requested tilapia. He loves tilapia, so I said fine. I'm chopping up a little bit of onion for this macaroni salad. What do you like in your macaroni salad? Um, I like the works, really, but the kids just, the ones who do eat it, prefer it plain. Like just mayo and some seasoning. Or one variation that I do pretty regularly, or at least I used to, is uh, mayo. And then we'll do like ham, cheese, boiled eggs, cucumbers, um, black olives, stuff like that. But this one was uh, more of a sweeter version. I used mayo, but I did put sweet pickle relish in it and some of the juice to give it that sweeter background. But anyway, um, I did also add that little bit of onion that you saw me chopping. Um, and then here I am cooling the noodles down in some ice because I was in a hurry to get it you know made and put into the ice box so that it could be ready for supper Again, this is still in the morning, so I'm taking my tilapia out of the packages um, because there is a little label on the pack that says to remove it from the plastic before thawing. So I have them all um, taken out of the pack and I'm going to put them in this bowl with some cold water so that they can defrost. Okay, this is the fun part. I'm going to make an Asian cucumber salad. Um, I eat this anytime I go into like a Chinese buffet. Um, I did see a recipe on Pinterest. Well, several. But I, there was this is a variation of one of them, basically. It was the easiest one. I didn't have to boil water or cook anything. Um, as you saw, I just used some um, sweet chili sauce. It's actually a dip, and it is sugar-free. Um, and then I added plain white vinegar and I do end up adding some salt and red pepper flakes uh, I slice up a little bit more onion and then I diced up or sliced up um, that entire package of the mini cucumbers from Walmart I love those because they don't have the big seeds um, and then I put a lid on it and stuck it in the ice box and by supper time it was nice and, and just a disclaimer yes I am tasting as I go but I knew nobody would be eating this except for me um, my husband actually did eat some of the uh, onions he didn't eat any of the cucumbers I don't believe and my son Bo he ate some of the cucumbers but not the onions but you know nobody else was eating it and it's not like we were having company to come and eat so um i was perfectly fine with tasting as i went and yes i used the same fork the entire time so if that bothers you turn your head
Another side we're having with our tilapia is going to be a broccoli and cheese casserole. This recipe also came from Pinterest. Um, you know, I thought it was really good and only one of my children likes this. So she ate some too, but the red, like nobody else ate it. So next time I'll have to just use one package of the um, broccoli instead of two and just cut down on the recipe but this was really really good um, it called for Ritz crackers but I didn't have that I just had those rich and crisp you know from the Dollar General and um, well they were really good I did put a little more butter than it called for because the crackers were still dry and I wanted them to be good so other than that I stuck to the recipe and um, I don't know about anybody else do y'all have flies like I think it's that time of year where the flies are bad um, I did buy um, some of those hanging fly traps they're like sticky those gross things but I also found some that they're clear rectangles that just stick onto your window and the flies get stuck on those I really like them um, because more than once I have stuck my head onto that hanging fly trap and it's disgusting but the one on the windows I really do like so I need to get some more see there's there's a fly buzzing around it just drives there's my husband taking my cheese um the flies they drive me crazy uh So we're going to season this tilapia. The first thing that I do is put some olive oil on it. See me talking with my hands. You know I'm from the south. Um, yeah, so I smother it in olive oil basically. And then I just use basic seasonings. Um, I do like lemon on fish. And I did use a tiny bit. I can't talk. A tiny bit of of like lemon juice at the end but sometimes I do like lemon pepper like lemon pepper on the fish but no I just used like the, the Tony's Creole seasoning onion powder garlic powder some red pepper flakes um I think that might be it and then like I said later you'll see me drizzle on a little bit of all of um lemon juice on some of them and then me and my husband and my nine-year-old um we like sliced jalapenos and onions on top of ours uh 
today I only put the jalapenos I did not do onions sometimes we even do sliced lemon but I didn't have any so yeah, you know it was pretty basic really just the seasoning some jalapenos and a little bit of lemon juice and then I just throw that in the oven and bake it now I'm not gonna lie I prefer to start this on the stove in a skillet browning the fish because like I always say getting that color on there is what gives it extra flavor it gives it really good flavor the fish is still going to be good but adding that brown really gives it the extra flavor but I skipped that step on this day because well I just didn't feel like standing there doing it Okay, nothing to see here folks. I don't know about y'all, but I like to clean up while I cook. That way there isn't a big mess after. So that's all I'm doing here is cleaning up my mess. How'd you do? I'm not broken. I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile in the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are not Here's where I add that extra butter I talked about earlier. I was checking on it and the crackers just seemed dry. So I got out a cold stick of butter and I just used my um, cheese grater, um, shredder, whatever it is, right on top of the broccoli. Check out these cool effects I added. <laughs> I was just trying to have a little bit of fun with it. Still working on learning this editing. Um, you know i'm not tech savvy so i watch youtube videos on how to edit youtube videos that's my life i hope we can be friends how could they say i was broken okay everything is ready i'm taking everything out of the oven making the macaroni um tonight we had the Velveeta shells and cheese so yummy I know it's not healthy but anyway um so i'm gonna um, unwrap these sweet potatoes that i have from the other night i'm gonna heat those up and just put some you know pats of butter on it and that's just for me nobody else um and then i'm gonna start fixing up plates they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them oh. how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them you do i'm not broken i'm just split in two hope you're fine ain't got time i'm not broken not broken not broken how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come Here is the final product. 
um that cucumber salad is amazing the broccoli and cheese was really good the tilapia yum that's the macaroni salad I okay going for an easy night tonight we're doing hot dogs these came out of the freezer so they took a little longer than usual but it was still a fast supper um we didn't have hot dog buns but that's fine because um i mean bread is bread right so i only have one can of chili because it's only my husband and me that even eats the chili um well my daughter does but i don't remember if she was here that night i don't think she was actually so um one can is plenty um I must be making my son some noodles because I just saw the water in the bowl. Um, so, on top of our hot dogs, me and my husband like diced onions and jalapenos. Also, my husband likes his uh, hot dogs on bread. He, I have to cut each hot dog in half and then spread them out across his bread and then put all of his toppings that's how he likes to eat his hot dogs and by the way these cantaloupe right here they were nice and ripe um i don't like getting my fruit on a pickup order because i can't pick them myself um, but these i had gone into the store and grabbed and um they were nice and soft and sweet and so that that makes them really really good to eat unlike my friends you are nothing like them So my son does not like crust on his bread. He's weird because hamburger buns, the whole top is crust. Hot dog buns, a lot of crust. But on sliced bread, I have to cut off the crust. Anyway, he decided this day that he wanted his hot dogs like his daddy. So I will do that. I'll cut his hot dogs up, put them on the bread. And then he just does like ketchup and cheese on his. Another chance, loving you is all I wanted. I'm wide open for a love affair, girl. When you're looking like that, close up, close up. I'ma get closer to you, yeah. Got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again. Damn, girl, I need you. How many times do I want you? Cause we could be so complete, baby. I'll never want anyone. Here are my hot dogs. I ate two hot dogs on sliced bread with a little bit of mayo, mustard, chili, and shredded cheese with my cantaloupe on the side. Okay guys, that's it for that video. Um, please don't pay attention to my wild hair. I'm not even dressed yet. Um, I made this video I think two weeks ago and I'm just getting around to getting it put up for y'all. Um, I have another one coming uh, of what's for suppers and then I think it'll be another cleaning video after that but I'm not sure. So thank you for sticking around and I hope to see you in the comments.